What's poppin' everybody? It's your boy Joey back with more Assassin's Creed Valhalla. In the last episode, we wrapped up the Vinland story arc. We killed Gorm and we reported back to Ranvi. Um We then uh headed over to Essex, which is where the next story arc will begin. Apparently we have a contact here named Beerston that we need to speak with, so we're going to talk with Beerston and see what he or she has to say. I think it's a Beerston. It sounds like it's a she. I could be wrong, but I think it's a she. It seems Elderman Beerston has made this ruin his longhouse. His. Okay, so maybe it's a guy. I mean, as Eivor says, it's a guy there, but there was one... There was one person... Oh, no, wait, yeah, 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 it is a guy, it is a guy. I know, I remember who this is now. What's up? I bet she is. In her usual fashion. If you speak with her, pass on that we've run out of ale. Okay, so I thought Beerston was this guy's wife's name, but uh, I'm wrong. Beerston is just his wife. My head is pounding right now. Who's this girl's name again? Es Estrid, okay. Come at one cry from me. Sheathe your blade, lady. I'm Eivor of the Raven Clan. Here at your husband's request. Another Dane. I am Estrid, wife of the Lord of Essex. As you may have heard, my lord is not at home. Uh, I'll speak with you. He's away. I'll speak to you. Oh, that you could, Eivor. For I am sure this hall would shake with our merry wit. But your accord must be reached with him. You don't strike me as a meek Saxon wife. Do you yet see an ember of my Frankish fire, Ravenwalker? Perhaps it dances in my eyes? I'm wary of rounding up Saxons. Is your husband stolen, drunk, or wayward? He'll be stalking the woodlands today, hunting game and ignoring the vital affairs of Essex. One such affair is why we called for you. If I can find him, I'll remind him of his duties. Ah, such would be a miracle. His favorite haunt is southwest of here. The lavender fields there attract the prey, God help him. With luck, he hasn't been eaten, but I'll return either way. She sounds like she's, uh, French, like from, uh, Francia. I'm pretty sure she is, actually. I think it's mentioned, uh, in the story arc. Mm, I see two gold dots, that's always interesting. My buddy's all the way over there. I want those two gold dots first, whether it's, <coughs> excuse me, whether it's uh, ingots or, um, or, or gear, I want it. Mm -hmm. Where's this, uh, there's a set of steps or something. Okay. Well, now this is just gonna lead me on a wild goose chase. I'll probably get lost, but you know, we'll see how it goes. Ah, damn it.
Hmm. Could this be the way? Do you know the way? Well, that is not the way. Damn it, Avor. There we go. Just drop down, stupid. There you go. Hey, this is another uh, assassin bureau. Nice. Or you dumb shit. I feel like the only way to go is over there. Because I saw an opening up above. <coughs> but I just um, feel like there's supposed to be more. No! That's not what I wanted, Eivor, you dumb shit. I want you to... There you go, see? Wasn't that hard. And I need a lock. Or a key. <coughs> Excuse me. that one, hmm? It's literally right there. What the hell is that? Let's see. What was that? Thank you. My God. Another codex page for Hytham. How the shit do I get that over there? <clears throat> what the hell? What? Anything else? Nope. 
Nope. Alright then. Then can I just GTFO? Find where Beerston's hiding out. Best raise my hood here. No, you don't really have to, but if you feel like it, be my guest, Eivor. Finding, like, all the collectibles and all the gear that you need is so taxing. Like, it just takes too much time. But it's really, like, the only thing you can do to level up your character. Because without all these, like, materials and stuff, you're just going to be stuck with crap weapons. And when you get later in the game, you're just going to be completely screwed over and get absolutely shredded. Yeah, I should have that on, like, a t-shirt. Just get, like, just have the th saying, just, I got absolutely shredded or something like that. I don't know. Bearston, where are you at, you old, old fucker? A pinga forest. A pinga. Ah, oh, he's up there. I need your eyes, my friend. Hunting is a fine sport, but I hope the Alderman has not become the prey. No good comes from a camp this bloody. Oh boy, I think he. You got to eaten. <laughs> the dude just like buckled over, like ugh. They were caught off guard as they supped. Were they attacked by animals or were they attacked by soldiers? <laughs> Whoa! Something strong enough to kill a horse. Now I'm gonna take a stab and say it was a bear that attacked. Some large prey left these tracks in the grass. Oh, something back over there. The remains of the hunting party. This one was savaged by a large animal. The hunters were prey to a large beast or two. I can only hope that Biestam still lives. Eh, yeah, we'll find him. What do you see? Well, he's over there. <coughs> but I want to go over here. I see too much gold on the map that uh, kind of calls my name. Although, I'm probably just wasting a bunch of time, but you know what? It's all for fun, and that's what video games are all about. You're supposed to be fun, you're supposed to explore, and find adventure. Hey. Unless there's times where the game likes to screw you over and make you cry. Yo, so, I'm gonna tell you guys this story. Um... I'm not sure if I even told this story before, but, oh jeez, uh, <laughs> oh shit, I'm all covered in oil now, all it takes is one flame and I'm screwed, but, um, so this story happened, like, back when I was, like, in, I want to say, 5th grade, 6th grade, something like that, um, my brother had some of his friends up, and we were playing Call of Duty Black Ops 1, now, my brother and I, what the hell, gee, that was nasty, but, um, um, anyway, so yeah, we're playing Call of Duty Black Ops 1, and my brother always beat me in that game, whenever we went one-on-one -on -one against each other, he always beat me, and it pissed me off every single time, so, this particular time, like, he, he's winning, I'm like, yeah, this is pointless, but I eventually get enough streaks to get a care package, so I'm like, oh, sweet, I got a care package, but I'm, 
but I'm like, ah, it's probably going to be some crap like a UAV or something pointless, right? No, it's attack dogs. And so, I get so excited, and I'm like, yes, I finally have a chance, I'm going to beat you. So, I rush to my care package, and I look around, no one's there, there's no one near the care package. So, wh while I'm trying to gain the care package, my brother sneaks, sneaks up behind me, stabs me in the back of the head, and steals my care package, steals my attack dogs. You... You cannot wrap your head around how sad and angry I was. Like, I straight up burst into tears when he stole my attack dogs and used them on me. Because in that moment... Like, when I f saw that I had the attack dogs, I'm like, yes, I'm gonna beat him! I, I finally, like, I had so much hope in me. Like, like, I just got filled with so much hope. And then that asshole comes around, steals my attack dogs, and all my hope is gone. I feel empty inside and completely heartbroken. And I burst into tears. He steals my attack dogs and flat out wins the match. But... I was just so devastated when he stole the attack dogs. I was like, no, you fucking asshole. And I just started like trying to punch the crap out of him. And it just, I was so sad that day. Like He, he was laughing. He thought it was hilarious. I cried. Um, but yeah. That was just one of the things that happened in our many, uh, many gaming days. Uh. Um. going well. Oh, hold up, hold up, wait a minute, put your back into it, or, I don't know. I don't know why I keep saying that, like, I feel like it's a song, but, but I don't know if it is. But he's freaking out. Shit, shit! Whoa! That was awesome. So, so that guy's thing is he's a fire bringer, so he can like throw fire bombs at us. I think he can like even breathe fire or something like that. So I took just so I took literally took one of his fire bombs, put it under his stomach, stomped his head into the ground, and the bomb just exploded like under him. That's vicious. And so was that. Good God. I'm so determined to get this ingot. I have no need of it, really, but I, I'm just, I just want it. But I don't know how to get inside. All I know is that it's blocked. Wait, yeah, it's blocked. But how do I get it? Oh, um. Aha! Oh, I uh, that yeah yeah mm hmm mm hmm mm hmm. I am right. Just gotta stand on that. There we go. There you go. And after this, we'll go. Uh, we'll go check on Beerston. Yo, I should use whatever ingots I have on like all my other up, all my other equipment, like all my uh, like my vests, my bracers, and my boots. That would help immensely. I mean, I already upgrades most of my uh, gear anyway. Like my, like I said, like my uh, vests and bracers. But um, 
I just have other stuff that could be upgraded as well. Big old collection of stuff over here. All right. <coughs> Fort or your camp is raided. Time to check on Beerston. I think he's just up ahead, actually. Wait. Oh no, that's a deer. I thought that was him. But I am wrong. Aid me. Be my eyes. Yes, he is. He's literally just straight ahead. He was just over the hill. Around the corner and over the hill to grandmother's house we go. Wow. Ready your weapon. Or oh shit. Your fate as a feast for bears. Man, I just took that bear to school. Ow! Oh, there's more than one? Okay. Hold up, bro. I'm coming. I'm coming! Oh, shit. He got him. Yeah, he did. Stupid bear. Well fought, friend. I would not have survived this ambush without you. Well, seeing as how I had to revive you, I don't think you did survive. I'm Estrid Sent. Your wife and the Thanes of Essex both want your balls on a blacksmith's anvil. Who doesn't? You could return and report that the savage claw took me. Poor Beerstam, his exit pursued by a bear. And make the beast Lord of Essex in your stead. No doubt my Estrid would prefer his velvet paws to my calloused hands. So, who are you? A sellsword? I don't even know what that is. Does that mean a blacksmith or a traitor or something? Oh, so mercenary, yeah. I'm Norse. No kind groveler. Intriguing. We Saxons hear only that Danes and Norse are ferocious barbarians. All teeth and claws, with little subtlety or wit. But ho! Are you the Norse I sent word to? I am Eivor of the Raven Clan. He's mean mugging him I hard. I an alliance for the loan of my unique talents. It's blood, yes. Let us return to Colchester at once, and we'll speak more of the delicate matter on my mind. I'm glad you're <coughs> I did not expect such a skilled fighter. It's good I came when I did. You lost many men on this hunt. Good men, all. They will have the proper rights, and their families will be cared for. Your people sacrificed much for your sport. They did. There is no balm for my tortured heart. Why did you ask me here? Do you believe in true love, Eivor? I have loved. But have you truly? Has a longing burned in your breast, a sweet lingering pain, paralyzing you with its sting? There's pain enough in battle, but enough to seek it out in love. I long for it. The thrill of a fight softly won. My wife Estrid lacks fire. She is a fish out of water, cold and dead. She showed great passion when I met her, keeping her thanes in check. Oh, they love her, it is true. Some with too much devotion. And I have not been a good and attentive husband. I have always been a plucked goose in matters of love, and a piss-poor ruler to boot. Strong must be the hand that steers the ship, Eston. My hand would rather tug the cat gut of a well be gentle if they spot me. My eyes narrowing at the sight of prey. Aye, the crown sits heavy on the head. Then let us run wild and free in the woods as the wolves do. Live on our wits, prowl and stalk and feast. You have a romantic way about you, Eston. Do not fret. My guards will not worry you when we are together. 
You mismark me if you think I'm capable of worry. Have you built your city in the ruins of another? No, these builders are lost to the annals of time. Far advanced of the Saxon hobbles of Wattle and Daub, I have ambition to build a great palace myself, with mosaics and balmy courtyards. What stops you? That which stops all but the most creative minds. Coin, imagination, talent. And your people? Is Essex happy? That is a question I never really ponder. I suppose they are. I hope they are. Alfred believes I rule like a chickless hen, flapping and squawking over nothing but the farmer's dinner. He interferes. No, he disapproves. Is that not infinitely worse? But look, we are nearing my hall. I must face the wolves. Here we are. Before we discuss your favorite things, <coughs> It may be I can speed your business along. As Beerson said, he kind of doesn't really want to be king or elderman in any way. That's the case with a lot of people who are eldermen. They actually just don't want it. Too much responsibility and stress. Not enough joy. Ready to help me fend off the spears of their displeasure? Let them speak their woes. I'll advise you if I can. Everyone is basically always after you, trying to kill you. Who is this owl, Beerston, that twitters in your ear? An advisor, nothing more. Here to help Essex navigate her brewing storms. Now, my dear brethren, Adrid, perhaps you will start us off. What troubles you? You're a disgrace, Beerstan. Couldn't get a sow pissed in an alehouse. Alfred's men are crawling all over Essex. King Alfred, yes. Though it is within his right... The constant presence of his men is certainly an issue. The mistletoe stood, send them back to Alfred. I don't know. Um, when the months are coldest, the mistletoe is full grown, cloaked in her winter strength. Meaning that we should weather this? Stay strong? Yes, that's it. Not bend in the wind like stalks of wheat. And you, Wyatt, what do you say? Your preparations for the Lammas Festival. How can you think of spending so much coin when your people are starving? Wine and song is the answer to any question. Uh, nor fasting come to the feast. I don't know. Drink, be merry, eat your food. <coughs> Sing of great battles, for tomorrow we may die. There's no problem that meat and song can't solve. Do we not deserve such mirth? A great past and happiness? The dark days of winter approach. Let us drink them away. And Aldrich, do you yap like a she-hound as Adrid does? You know my thoughts, Beerston. The field. How can we give men to Alfred for his wars when our harvest suffers day by day? Uh, fields will mean nothing if your land is taken. Beware of a sleep on... Keep your... I, I don't know. Um, um. Refuse to send your men. Let Alfred's people die for his hopeless cause. I don't know. Then we refuse. Refuse our king? Has madness taken your wits, Beerston? I don't freaking know, uh, man. Like, why are you I asking me this all shit? Your questions. You're the elderman here. Do your job. Beerston. Useless. Useless. That's right. Yet still you haunt my hall. Be gone. I, have I think no matter what I choose, they're all gonna say that he's useless. I, d I don't remember, but I, d I don't care, really. Like, they, you can't make everyone happy, alright? You can't make everyone happy. And everyone, everyone basically hates their king or elderman or whatever. They, g they just think like, oh, he's not doing what's right for us. It's like, well, he's doing what's right for others, so you need to piss off. All this talk of hunting makes me long for the woods. Your wife awaits, Beston. Aren't you worried some other man will drench your sheets with his sweat? Ha! She does as she must. As do I. But you will discover this soon enough. So he flat out doesn't care if his wife is out hooking up with other guys? Yo, can I be next in line for that? <laughs> you have done the impossible, Dane. Returned my errant gander to his coop. My pettish love. Such a stormy countenance clouds the sun of my return. Your thanes drank the ale the abbot gifted us. All of it. Now that is a tragedy my heart will not easily overcome. 
If he looked at me with the same affection he shows for hunting deer, our marriage might have survived. Your love has gone sour. What do you need of me? What do you need of me, man? Skip all your your drama with your wife. So, what do you need of me? Our affairs are more of heart than of state, Eivor. What little passion there was between us faded into bickering long ago. We would have our freedom, Eivor. I from my wife, and my wife from Essex. Not too sharp a weapon for so soft a task. Why not part and be done with it? Oh, were I a Dane, and divorce as simple as a slit throat. But it's not so easy as that. Then what do you need to do, then? Then what is stopping you? Your King Alfred? Ours was not a union of love, but necessity. Decreed by Alfred's father to strengthen ties with Frankia. Not easily broken. Explain yourselves, clear and plain, and I will do it. The poetry here is mind mud. We had a plan, a simple plan. A woman lost and a woman found. Some time ago, we paid a Dane to kidnap me and ferry me safely to Frankia. As you can see, he did not deliver. He was certainly thorough in other regards. Some Norse can be quick to take coin and slow to earn it. If I give my word, it is not broken. Could we try the kidnap again? Much of the planning is done. It would only take a more trustworthy overseer. It should be a bold venture if we do. Loud and brash and seen by all. During our Lamas festival, merry peasants and guards with wandering eyes. Your return to Frankia would need a swift ship. <coughs> with the captain ready to leave England. We could ask him. I would have thought his steed and seamen spent. Come find me in the market, Evo. Our unwelcome guests require food and ale to soften their anger. My wife is a gracious and attentive host, Evo. The only thing that keeps my braying thanes at bay. And the woman found? A darling Maybud, Olvida, my childhood sweetheart. I left her twenty years ago in Malden to marry my prickled pair. Twenty years? Can an ember so cold be reignited? We can hope. You must fan the flame. Find her, bring her to my lakeside cottage, and light a bonfire there. I will know to come. I believe she lived in the last house in Molden. A small, sweet place where fond memories were made. I will do as you both ask, and ask Freya for success in this love game. Good luck in your endeavors, Eivor. I pray you find my Alvida with a fair face and a yearning heart. Now, should I look for Alvida first, or meet with Estrid at the marketplace? Okay, um, so I know I was listening to what Estrid was saying about how she wants to leave and go to f back to Frankia. Um, she has a kidnapping charade in place, uh, like I would kidnap her and then get her to a boat. I have no idea what Beerson just said about some person, um was not paying attention to that what the hell's this um alfida find alfida and bring her to pearson oh i think um okay so alfida was once um maybe maybe it was uh pearson's first wife or second first girlfriend or something like that i don't know i wasn't paying too much attention uh my dad came downstairs to get something so i was distracted by him um, but let's go talk to Estrid first. Let's get her out of Essex and do, do this whole kidnapping scheme. <coughs> Got my... I think it was actually close by as well. that who the hell are you you look like a man with a great weight on his mind my trading plans are blocked by King Alfred at every turn 
Birston is a dear friend, but he manages Essex on whims and frivolity. My settlement could always use another trading partner. A Dane? Now that is fascinating. But we live in interesting times, and I must dance where the devil pipes his tune. So what does that do? I think this was just the guy that was in the, uh... That was in the Great Hall with, uh, Beerston. <clears throat> yeah, these guys will want to fight me. So if we're gonna do it this way, then let's do it right. Yeah! You want some too? Come on, Ed. Come on. Oh. Ooh, careful now. Dummy. What a stupid dummy. Take a hammer to your face. I hope I shatter it. Uh, I blocked, but okay. To hell with you, too. There we go. Hold this real quick. Oh, the fucking dummy. Anyone else? Yeah, see two guys down there. Oh, I just chucked it at a monk. Sorry, buddy. Who the hell's over there? That dude's hiding in the bushes. Like, what the heck? Yo, yeah, there should be a thing where you can, like, pick up their heads and just, like, chuck them at people. That'd be funny. Damn it. Man. Come on, then. How about I just do this instead? I was waiting for him to shoot his arrow at me so I could catch it and shoot it back at him, but... No, he wanted to friggin' screw around and take forever. Where the hell is Estrid right now? This place would have been impressive once, a long time ago. Man, it takes me like so much, it takes so much strength not to call her Astrid. I don't know why, but to me her name just should be Astrid, not Estrid. I don't know. This place would have been impressive once, a long time ago. Drinking contest nearby, those are always nice. Actually, I want to sell some stuff and buy some ore, that would be great. What can I tempt you with? Uh, some ore, that would be great. So, all trinkets. I'm only buying these because I like you. Um, okay. This could come in very handy. I believe so, I believe so, my guy. You are wise. You know what's kind of dumb to me? They still are not selling fabric. They really should. Fabric is kind of rare to come by. Leaving already? Yep. Deuces. Um. Did I do that drinking contest? I don't know. Let's just do it anyway. Stupid pigs. Freaking pigs. Of course, this guy up here looking at me funny, giving me the stink eye. Stomp you out. Did I? I'm pretty sure I already did this one. Yeah, I'm almost certain I already did that. Okay, well that's good, because I don't want to do it again, really. Estrid, you're just up ahead there, darling. Let's get you out of here. Oh, 
there you are, Eivor. Over here. I came first to help you. Your need seemed more pressing. And now my marriage awaits your executioner's sword. Will it not be strange to leave this place? You've lived here half your life. Yes, but what is to keep me here? A loveless union and the dirt mounds of two babes who never took a breath. Damn, that's kind of sad. Have you always missed Frankia? I have. Or rather, I miss the woman I was when I lived there. Somewhat freer and more hopeful. And what of our plan, the great Lammas kidnap? Is this a Christian feast? Yes, it's a wonderful evening. A blessing of the harvest, full of fruits and fires, drinking and dancing. Revelers with muddy minds and glazed eyes. That's good for us. And what of the ship that will sail you home? I know just the one, and her captain is full of fire. Come, I will take you to him. I was there. I saw it. This captain, who is he? Not much more than a boy in his 17th year. Full of youthful bravado. A Saxon? A Dane, though Adred calls you raiders. He says that you are here to steal England. Some may be. <laughs> But I've come to settle a stretch of land. I'm not so keen to return to the winters of my birth in Norway. Norway? Ah! It must be beautiful. Rugged and fearsome, and cold as anything, the frozen north. Absolutely. That light hangs in the sky. A road for the Valkyries who carry our dead warriors to their eternal feast. An eternal feast would be a merry end. We are here. This is a brother. The captain's name is Rolfur, called Rollo in my tongue. Tell him of our new plan and agree to whatever reward he demands. He may take some convincing, for we did not part on the best of terms. I'll bring him round. By force of persuasion. Just be ready for my signal at the Lammas Festival. So this guy, Rollo, I'm guessing, is a former lover of, of Astrid's, or Estrid, god, I'm always gonna mix that up, aren't I? Anyway, Rollo's a former, former lover of Estrid, and he's chilling here in a brothel, having a good old time. Sorry to block you, buddy, but we're gonna need your help with something. Rollo! Please! I'm just a poor Christian brother with nothing left to give. Someone's at the door, Rollo. Oh, is it that hun I asked for? Esther sent me. Did she now? As a parting gift for the man who rattled her bones, huh? <laughs> no, I'm here to collect you. Can it wait? Oi! Bring out the one they call Rolo. The king's men want to ask him a few questions. No, 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 no! Just a second. Good day, sir. Come in. <laughs> move! Move! Some help here! Bloody fucking Danes! Open this door! Bloody fucking days. Now, follow me. We found you. Oh god. Man, they are ready to go. <laughs> dude, dude just appeared out of nowhere. Can you not, please? Catch. Good lord, that was brutal. Estrid did not lie. You have fire. And who are you to Estrid? Only a friend. I'm Avo of the Raven Clan. Norse by the music of your speech. Then you must forgive me. Those Saxons knew about my camp. I was mind drunk to leave my warriors behind. Go to your men if you must. Only tell me where to find you. We have much to talk about. Northeast of here, by the river's mouth. Follow me or come when you can. We'll just meet up with Rolo afterwards. 
Um. Pff, I just chucked a spear at that pig for no reason. That poor pig didn't deserve that. I'm kidding. Um. Hmm. I think I'm gonna end the episode here. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button. If you like my content, make sure to hit subscribe and hit the notification bell to know what I'm uploading next. If you know anyone that might enjoy this video, make sure to share the love with them and share this video with them and tell them to subscribe. While you're at it, take a look at some of the other videos on my channel. There's many Let's Plays on my channel for you to watch and enjoy. Once again, I'll say thank you and I'll see you guys in the next episode.